Some patients may find relief in technology new to Edward Hospital. The facility now has two hyperbaric oxygen chambers, which quickly deliver pure oxygen to damaged areas of the body. NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck has the details. Hold your nose and blow. Lyle resident Gretchen Arnott recently started what's called hyperbaric oxygen therapy while fighting breast cancer. I had gone through some uh, radiation which damaged tissue in my breast area. So um, it was suggested that um, the healing would be aided by um, the use of this chamber. In fact, I can tell that the uh, discomfort I have is easing already. During the therapy, patients lay inside a clear tube for two hours breathing 100% oxygen which helps stubborn wounds to heal. One of the reasons why wounds won't heal is they're not getting enough oxygen, and they're not getting enough oxygen because they're not getting enough blood supply. Deep sea divers sometimes use similar treatment for sickness caused by major changes in pressure. The air inside the tube is pressurized to more than two atmospheres, which is like diving 66 feet below sea level. That helps the oxygen dissolve in the blood's plasma. You're really forcing that oxygen to be all the way down to the level of the cell. And when the oxygen level goes high like that, it causes angiogenesis or new blood vessels to form. The oxygen is bacteriostatic, so it kills off the bacteria that might be in there if there's an infection. This kind of treatment is usually used for lack of blood supply, a bone infection, open wounds that won't heal, or tissue damage. Hyperbaric chambers are used as a last resort, but can save a patient from amputation. As for Arnott, she hopes the chambers will continue to heal her radiation wounds. My being the cancer patient, you know, I've gone through so much already, and um, I'm willing to, you know, do whatever it takes to be healed and to improve. So, you know, I'd like to impart that on other people too, that it might help them. Patients need more than just one session of hyperbaric oxygen therapy for it to work, sometimes as many as 30 treatments. Reporting from Edward Hospital, Kevin Maycheck, Naperville News 17. Dr. Jean Walsh says the hospital is in the process of getting a third hyperbaric oxygen chamber within the next year.